while investing in a stock we have to think about two factors one is the expected return and another one is the risk associated with the investment in the previous video if you uh, watch that uh, you, we have demonstrated how to estimate the expected return of a stock so it is reproduced here you can see just a review uh, we have the current stock price of 125 and we have possible three scenarios um, with the probability of each scenario and and the uh, price and dividend of these three scenarios are given so from here we have calculated the percentage return that is very simple the price difference okay the difference between the current price and the next year price of that scenario that is the capital gain okay plus the dividend divided by the cost so this is wh what we have done uh, to calculate the percentage return for each and every scenario separately so after we get that we have calculated the probability weighted return just by multiplying the percentage return if particular scenario becomes true with the probability of that scenario okay and then we have summed up to get the expected return after getting the expected return now how can we measure the risk of this stock risk associated with the return of this stock we can use three measures of risk of a stock's return one is variance another one is standard deviation and the third one is coefficient of variation if we want to calculate the coefficient of variation we need the standard deviation and if we want to estimate the standard deviation we need the variance so how to calculate all these measures of risks at first we have to estimate the deviation from the expected return so we can calculate it using excel formula that is very easy the percentage return of a particular scenario minus the expected return we are going to lock it because we don't have to uh, change this one okay and after that we can just copy the formula so uh, then we have to calculate the square deviation so it is very simple equals uh, the cell where we have the deviation from the expected times the same cell so we get the square deviation and we have to copy the cells the reason we see the hash sign is column weight is not enough to show all the digits of the result so we have rounded it up anyway the actual value will remain in the system so now we we can we have to calculate the probability weighted square deviation and that is also very easy multiply each square deviation with the percentage probability of that uh, scenario okay now again let us round it let us reduce the number of digits after the decimal okay and then copy down so we have got the probability weighted square deviation now we have to calculate the variance the variance is very easy it is the sum of all probability weighted square deviation now how can we get the standard deviation standard deviation is the square root square root sqrt this is the uh, excel function square root of variance okay uh, so we get the standard deviation uh, now we can also try to convert it into percentage or we can also make it uh, keep it decimal it is your choice now how can we calculate the coefficient of variation coefficient of variation is equals to standard deviation divided by the expected return so we have got the coefficient of variation let us reduce the number of digits so that and usually we don't need the percentage here so let us format it as a number so our coefficient of variation is 1.84 
In fact, the coefficient of variation is a relative measure of risk because it takes the ratio uh, of standard deviation to expected return. So it actually compares the uh, risk with the expected return. So uh, this is especially useful when you compare the risk of one stock with, the, with that of the other stock. So even if the expected return is uh, quite different like one is 8% another one is 28% still um, coefficient of variation will capture which one is more risky relative to the expected return. I hope that you have understood how to estimate coefficient of variation, standard deviation and variance. All these are the measures of risk associated with your investment in a stock. Thank you very much.